All right, let's go. Let's stay right here. Well, another gameplay. If you like the video, like the video. If you're enjoying the content, then subscribe. Yeah, go ahead, hit subscribe. Button. Nah, thanks for uh, tuning in. I really do appreciate it. helps out the channel. So make sure you're also going over to Twitch.tv forward slash day days stream play. Catch when I'm streaming. It's a good time over there. We laugh, we joke. I'm streaming other games beside Warzone. I'm trying to grow the channel. I'm trying to grow the Twitch. Let's go ahead and help me out. Step on over there, drop a follow. Drop in the chat. We'll have a little chit chat. We can even talk about what this video is about. Problems with Warzone. Or, as you can see by the title, it's the state of Warzone. Which isn't good. It's not good at all. Not even a little bit. Some of the problems that everybody's experiencing, for starters, is cheaters. I think that's the biggest thing that's on everybody's list. There's still the same cheaters in this game when the game first came out. Can you believe it? I can't. Other games would have already solved this problem. Or they have anti-cheat systems put in place in order to prevent people from cheating from the beginning. Or if they are, then they're suspected. And people manually say, hey, suspected of cheating. Then the algorithm would run, see if they're cheating or not, and then ban them. And that's it. But no, there's legitimately channels on Twitch or even on YouTube that have been uploading videos of them using wall hacks, using aimbot, or any other type of form of cheating in order to have advantage that's not even remotely close to being fair. Another problem that everybody seems to not like with the game is the fact that skill-based matchmaking has turned completely all the way up to a point where you feel like you're playing COD champs every time you just try to play and hang out with your friends. I know I experienced that, and I can't stand it. It's one of the worst components of this game. If you want to have skill-based matchmaking, make a ranked playlist. Or, at the very least, give us an idea of what rank we're in. Let us know. So this way when we go up to the next rank, or we go up to the next tier, it's something we're working towards. But I think the biggest solution to the problem is make a rank playlist and make it unranked that doesn't have the skill-based matchmaking. And then, on another, oh, another little, little, words, on another note, glitches have seemed to be taking over this game. Every time one is fixed, another one just comes in the picture. The first one that I can clearly remember, and I think I started playing in Season 3, was the heartbeat sensor glitch. You pull it out and your screen freezes. How many times did you guys die to that? Leave it in the comments down below. Me? Countless. I know I at least, no joke, probably died about 10, 15 times due to that. It, but it was such a problem, even if I didn't die, that I had to get rid of the heartbeat sensor. And that's why I don't run with it anymore. Because I know it's fixed, but I don't want to have to deal with that if it ever comes back up. But it's not like they fixed it and removed that type of glitch altogether. No, that glitch still exists in a different form. When you call in a loadout, I swear, it's every other game. I call in a loadout. I go to get it, boom, screen freezes. I was just playing yesterday and died to it. I would have included that footage in here because this is two different games that you're going to be watching. But another thing that I'm getting, and I'm playing on console, is frame drops. This just started happening the other day, I think. It's not every game. It's, it's not even a lot of games. It seems to be a rare occasion, but I'm getting frame drops. And I have really good internet, so I don't understand what could possibly be going on. But there's just a lot of problems in Warzone. And all they seem to be focusing on is skill-based matchmaking. It's like, if someone figures out a way to get around it, that's something they have to fix immediately. Not the cheaters, not the glitches, not the bugs. No, they have to fix you not being around, getting around skill-based matchmaking. Now, anyone who gets around it, if you're doing it for casual play or you're doing it because you're a creator, that's one thing. That doesn't bother me. Heck, put in the comments down below how I do it. I'm going to jump in there with you. But if you're doing it to cheat during a tournament, 
That's that's something that's unethical, in my opinion, because money's on the line, and that's a whole other ball game. But if you're only doing it because you're trying to have the best content so you can grow, or you're just trying to have fun and relax, I'm all for it. Skill-based matchmaking shouldn't be in the game. But if you're doing it to cheat, I have a problem with it. I don't compete in tournaments just for that reason. I know that people do that. Which brings on the question of the day. If you have the answer to the question, please leave it in the comment below. So I'll leave you with this. How come they don't do private matches for Warzone tournaments? I mean, they did make it a feature. Maybe they removed it, and I haven't been paying attention. But you can now, or you at least could, have a private lobby in Warzone. So why are the tournaments not hosted that way, like an old-fashioned tournament? Last team standing, last team wins. I don't know. Seems like a solution to the big problem. of Skill-based matchmaking and people cheating it and cheating in tournaments. Host the tournaments privately. Get rid of skill-based matchmaking. Bow! Problem solved. Hey, this has been another gameplay with yours truly, Day Day. I ask you again that you go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button. Down in the comment down below, what's your favorite gun? Peace.